Thanks, Amanda. Happy Carnival Week, everybody. I was so excited to hear that you guys are featuring us as a featured supplier this week. I know that Amanda and Reggie and Ron and Rhonda and Jose, Peggy and Susie have lots in store for you today. Uh, this week, rather. And I wanted to also do my part in getting it on the fun. <clears throat> so today we are doing an extra special uh, presentation for you featuring the Carnival Mardi Gras, which is our newest ship that we took delivery of in December. And we are anticipating her arrival to the US in the coming weeks to join our fleet once cruising resumes. And as part of this extra special presentation, we are gonna be doing a virtual ship tour of the Mardi Gras. So we will be going through all of her spaces as if you were actually participating in a ship inspection down at the cruise terminal. But I actually needed some help with it because she is such a big ship that I um, solicited the assistance of my dear friend and colleague, Chris the Crusher Shuts, whom you may know if you caught our Battle of the BDMs this past Friday where Chris and I battled it out for our nightlife knockdown. And you'll have to watch it once it gets posted later this week by Amanda to see who wins. But I'm excited to have her with me here to help with a ship tour. As you know, if you've ever participated in a ship tour in a live environment down at the terminal, it is usually a BDM or two helping each other out, going through all the spaces. So I will be forever indebted to her for her gracious help with this today. So as you can see, the Mardi Gras is right back here in the background with me. We took delivery of her in December. She is the part of our first, she will be the oldest sister to the Excel class uh, vessels that will be coming out over the next couple of years. So we have Mardi Gras, and then we just announced coming in 2022 for our 50th anniversary birthday party, the Carnival Celebration. There will also be the younger sister to the Mardi Gras, but for now, we're going to head over, work our way on board. We have to go through the check-in process at Port Canaveral's brand new cruise terminal that was fully renovated and had enhancements for the Mardi Gras to be her home. So this is a brand new terminal in Port Canaveral. If you are familiar with the old Port Canaveral terminal, the over the overhaul or uh, facelift was definitely due. She is ready and anticipating Mardi Gras arrival in the coming weeks to help her with all of her bells and whistles. As you know, Mardi Gras is our first LNG class environmentally friendly ship where she will be power, uh, powered by liquefied nitrogen gas. And while we're embarking and debarking either yourself or your valued cruise clients, she'll be getting refueled in an environmentally friendly way in this brand new Port Canaveral terminal. So we are so excited that the construction is done and now we're anticipating Mardi Gras arrival very soon. But for now, let's head on board. And I believe Chris is waiting for us in Grand Central. Hey, Irene. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. I love being here and it really was a lot of fun to battle you. I did want to tell everybody who the winner is, but I guess I'll wait so that they have to watch it and see, but maybe a little bit of a big congratulations to me and Irene. <laughs> I couldn't resist. So I'm here at Grand Central Station and as everybody knows that when you walk on board a Carnival Fun Ship, the atrium area is where it's happening. There's so much to do here in the atrium and on Mardi Gras, it's gonna be even more so. So you can see these windows over here. These are LED and they will turn into the show during the evening. I'll show you even more. Um, there's gonna be there's gonna be food venues around here and just the hustle and the bustle of the atrium area here at Grand Central is going to be like no other ship that you've ever been on. It's going to be a blast. I love it. Perfect spot for a, a evening nightcap or maybe a pre-dinner drink. 
some of the things that I absolutely love is trivia here. Um, I love our electric violins. That's so much fun. But as I mentioned here on Mardi Gras, it's going to be even more so. So check this out. This is still Grand Central Station with all of our LED lights. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So, hey, Irene, where are you at? I'm over here at Family Feud which is our newest uh, part of our entertainment lineup. Our entertainment team has been working hard on this uh, guest partici participation game since really the, be the beginning of the dream of Mardi Gras. Uh, she will be a part of the entertainment lineup in the Grand Central Zone. So right where you are is where Family Feud will take place. And on every cruise, the ship's cruise director will host four unique games on an authentic Family Feud set, right down to the ever infamous iconic face-off podium. We only are just pending the question on if Steve Harvey will make a guest appearance, but everything will be family friendly to adult oriented, and two to five person teams will battle it out in rounds, including face off and fast money, just like you see on the show. But for now, while we get ready for Family Feud, I believe you're over up at the Esplanade, correct? I sure am. And if you're not familiar, this is a brand new area, but kind of still a little bit the same picture of the promenade on our ships. So again, there's going to be a lot of activity going on here between picture taking. And, you know, I love to do all those photos. I love posing, serious pose, not so serious pose. It's always a blast. But you can see over my shoulder here, the beautiful staircase. Then back here, we have some brand new venues that we are going to talk about. So again, it's going to be hustle and bustle and so much fun. But in the meantime, I want to take you to my very favorite spot. And this is the Alchemy Bar. So Irene, we've been to the Alchemy Bar together many times. It is so much fun. It's interactive. And our Alchemist Bar bartenders take their job super serious. And when I say super serious, I mean super seriously fun. They will come up with any concoction you like, whether it's grape or peach, you name it. I personally like to stick to some of the favorites like 40s, the new 20, or the pineapple chipotle margarita. I love all that. It's amazing. But really what my favorite part is, is just the interaction between our alchemists who are dressed up in their white lab coats. I love to, to just see how they interact with the customers and they're having so much fun working. I mean, come on, that's that's pretty fun if you're having that much fun working. In the meantime, I would like to take you to another fun area, and that is the casino. So Carnival has the biggest casinos at sea. There's truly something for everyone, whether it's the slot machines or it's a gaming table like blackjack or poker. I also love the fact that there's a casino bar area and that we have live music going on in the casino a lot of times. So sometimes you'll even find dancing here. So not only are our casinos the largest at sea, Irene, they're also the friendliest because we smile when we take your money. Just saying. So where are you now? Well, I was hoping you would say that because it's totally true. I have not seen a casino dealer not smile when they're at a table. But be sure you and your clients check out at the, the night before debark to get your winnings. But in the meantime, Chris, once you're done playing roulette or blackjack, whatever they're called, because I'm not a big casino person, come meet me in the French Quarter. <clears throat> um, because if big and, big and easy sound right for a cruise vacation, you and your clients may just make the French Quarter on Mardi Gras your home zone. This is one of the six zones that we have on Mardi Gras, and it's inspired by no less than New Orleans herself. And it's all of this talk of NOLA has you hungry. We're pleased to announce the French Quarter is going to be lined with bars and eateries worthy of the NOLA namesake. For one thing, it's particularly delicious is the newest partnership that we have with none other than Bam himself, Emerald Lagasse, featuring this Emerald's Bistro that's right behind me here. And we have partnered with him as he is doing his first ever seagoing restaurant aboard the Mardi Gras. It's located in the heart of the French Quarter Zone. And this bistro will be open for breakfast, lunch and dinner, a la carte, 
with full table service. Here is a peek at his menu. You can have uh, cave, I'm <clears throat> sorry, uh, raw and chilled seafood, fresh seafood ceviche, Enrique's favorite oysters on the half shell, Creole boiled shrimp. He definitely is making sure that he sticks to his New Orleans style cuisine at his bistro. And in the meantime, I believe that you're over at another uh, French Quarter Zone, right, Chris? I sure am. But Irene, I cannot wait to meet you there to try some of his his entrees. And oh my gosh, that's going to be absolutely amazing having Emerald on board. So I'm here at Brass Magnolia. And as we always say that Mardi Gras is too big to get up to New Orleans, we're definitely bringing the French Quarter to Mardi Gras. And at the Brass Magnolia, you will hear all kinds of jazz playing. You're going to feel like you're definitely in the French Quarter with the music, and you'll want to try the Hurricane. You know, the French Quarter is especially noted for their Hurricane drinks. They'll be on board, and we're also going to have another area. Now, I told everybody that Alchemy is my very favorite. I think I'm going to have a hard time leaving the new Fortune Teller. So Fortune Teller is going to have that Louisiana vibe, and it's going to be so much fun. There's going to be all different kinds of music playing here. Um, it's a brand new venue. But what I think is really cool is the drink selection. One is going to be the Abra Cadabra, and it'll change col colors right before your eyes. And there's also going to be a golden drink with actual gold flex, true gold flex in the drink. I'm all about it. Meet me there, Irene. But wait, it looks like you're someplace really cool. Yeah, I abracadabra myself over to our Italian zone on Mardi Gras, the La Piazza. And here I am at Bar Della Rosa, which is another brand new outlet for adult cocktails, um, where all of the Italian style custom drinks are made custom, especially for you, by our bartenders. So they cannot wait to do an Italian style twist on your beverage while you possibly wait for your pizza to be done at our La Piazza Pizzeria. So we still have our pizzeria on board and it is, don't forget, open 24 hours a day. It's hand-tossed dough made from our imported Italian flour with fresh uh, plus fresh mozzarella, which forms that irresistible crust that constantly wants you having another slice and your choice of toppings and finishing with um, pipe, finish piping hot over any mealtime classic. And you can even get a Caesar salad with it on the side. Here is just a couple previews of pepperoni, the fungi, the quattro formaggio. Don't forget about these when you're <clears throat> ordering your pizza because we also have on the Carnival's Hub app, if you're familiar with that, or Pizza Anywhere, where you can use the Pizza Anywhere function and satisfy your pizza cravings anytime with a touch of a button. It's basically our onboard pizza delivery service. So you just simply place an order through the Pizza Anywhere function in the app. You click where you are on the ship's map you got to make sure you look pretty because you take a selfie to help the pizza delivery uh, person identify you. And then you, your pizza is delivered to where you are. The delivery fee is just $5 per pizza and it's automatically charged to the guest's sale and sign account. So whether you're in your cabin getting ready for dinner and you want a snack after you've been out in port or you're at the piano bar, even alchemy or funny enough, at the spa, getting a spa treatment. Ha ha, I know, I'm just kidding with that one. You can have your pizza delivered anywhere you want. And we do have our pizzerias fleet wide and good to know. The Pizza Anywhere app is also available fleet wide. So even if you're at Bar Della Rosa eating a piece of pizza, waiting for your reservation time at Cucina del Capitano, you can have it delivered anywhere. But in the meantime, my reservation uh, is here for our family style Italian restaurant, Cucina del Capitano, the captain's kitchen. And if you haven't been on board a ship with our Cucina del Capitano restaurant, it's a homage to Carnival's rich Italian lineage where the majority of our captains are Italian and the majority of our ships have been built in Italy. 
It's a delicious dinner time option with made to order Italian favorites in a definitely comfortable, relaxed surrounding. You can dine in on handmade pasta, risotto, uh, fresh from the oven Italian specialties. And all of these recipes that Cucina features are descendants of Carnival Captain's family. So all of the recipes that are featured in Cucina are from a family of one of our Italian captains. And the, like most destination restaurants, reservations are highly encouraged and they can be made for Cucina del Capitano prior to the cruise vacation on carnival.com by accessing manage my booking or manage my cruises. <clears throat> and then the requested dates and times based on you or your client's cruise date will appear and will be honored on a first come first serve basis. Your clients would want to um, allow about two hours for the dining experience, an all-inclusive meal with four courses, not including any alcohol is $15 for adults and about $7 for the kiddos. And as an extra special treat to the uh, Cucina del Capitano on Mardi Gras, we have expanded her space to now include outdoor dining. When Enrique and I always go out, if it's the summertime and weather's appropriate, I always am tending to want to sit outside just because it seems extra special. So now with Cucina and there are outdoor spaces, you can have dinner as the sun sets, as you're departing a port of call or in the middle of the ocean. And it just gives that extra special feeling to make those dinner memories last. I wanted to take a peek at the menu. We have our Nono's meatballs, our minestrone, homemade burrata, which is my favorite. I'm a sucker for fresh mozzarella, and salata caprese, and a ton of others, linguine, spaghetti, everything. But for now, while we're talking about having reservations and sitting down to eat, we do have a hard at work option that I think Chris is at. Oh, hey, Irene, I was just making reservations. You just totally made me want Cucina del Capitano. I absolutely love it. And don't forget, everybody, it's included for lunch. So insider tip, if your clients are boarding our ship that has Cucina, just like Mardi Gras, make sure that they know that it's already included. It's absolutely one of my very favorite spots. But I'm here at Carnival Kitchen, and I definitely need to be here because I need some help with knowing how to cook. Just ask my husband, Frank. He will definitely tell you. So this is a hands-on experience at Carnival Kitchen. It debuted on the Panorama in 2019, and Mardi Gras will be our second ship in the fleet that will have Carnival Kitchen. We'll offer all different kinds of classes, ranging from $30 to $59 per person. Each person will have their own station. It's for guests 12 years and older, so there is that age restriction. Make sure that your customers know that. Um, but there's all different kinds of things that you can take classes for. So we have the, um, I brought my fun times here because there's so many classes. We have the uh, classics where we might teach you how to make tuna tartare and end it with chocolate melting cake. Now, now you have me. Now I'm ready to, to take this class for sure. Um, we have the uh, cake workshop. That's another cool one. We have the pasta master class. And check this out. This is your very own pasta machine right there beside me. So you'll get, like I said, you'll have your own station, your own stove. You're going to learn how to cook from the chefs right on board. And then we'll have a couple other things. We'll have a pizza master class. Speaking of that 24 hour pizza, Irene, that's pretty cool. And yeah, I do eat it for breakfast and I'm kind of proud to say so when I'm on a carnival ship. So I love that sushi making class, tailgating party, cupcake academy, and even an ice cream class. I am all about this. How about you, Irene? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Can you imagine both of us trying to tackle the Cupcake Academy? It seems like the Netflix show, Bake This, Not That, where you're given an example and then you do your best to replicate it. And I would just, it would be abysmal, my attempt. But in the meantime, after we did this hardworking class, why don't we head over to Summer Landing, the Mardi Gras third zone where it's the greatest chill spot at sea and it's 
the greatest chill spot at sea any time of the year. And what's three letters long and goes great with chilling outdoors. Uh, I think that's BBQ or barbecue. To also include, guys, Pig and Anchor, Smokehouse, and brew house in this zone. So it's always tasting like summer with the fresh smoke uh, flavors of guys, Smokehouse and brew house always in the air. And here we are now in Guy's Smokehouse, which features a wide variety of barbecue favorites smoked right on board over hickory and cherry wood using Guy's signature recipes, rubs, and spices. Theory has been cooking up some real deal smokehouse favorites like bone-in, dry-rubbed, slow-smoked championship pork butt and dry-rubbed grilled ribbon blue chicken. Oh my gosh. I have to say that slowly because I can I can just envision it on board with how good it would smell. And dewy sausage and sliced smokes round beef or pork cooked low and slow and thinly sliced. So while he does have a full dinner menu where reservations are not required, you can just come and seating is available as it is. On sea days from 12 to 2.30, lunch service is complimentary for his restaurant in the smokehouse brew house with bar service available for a fee and here is a sneak peek at the lunch menu with a pork butt the blue ribbon chicken scratch made coleslaw gosh the list will just go on but after that we're gonna i feel like we're gonna go further down the street for summer landing and head over to heroes tribute bar and we all know that there's a place in our heart for heroes. And this is Carnival's way of recognizing the sacrifices made by armed services. The men and women, rather, of the armed services. And it's the best place to gather and raise one to our defenders of freedom. This is the newest outlet that actually debuted on the Carnival Panorama. And it will also be a part of the Mardi Gras as well. And it's when you walk in, your heart is just overwhelmed with appreciation for those women, men and women in the armed services. There's pictures of military service on the walls, uniforms, Just it just is overwhelming. And a part of this space, if you were to order a pint and you would order it in this glass, a dollar, we donate a dollar to an organization very close to Carnival's Heart called Operation Homefront that helps retired men and women of the armed services as they need it. So as we have a partnership with St. Jude Children's Hospital, we also have a uh, partnership with Operation Homefront. And for every pint that we pour, you get to keep this glass uh, and we'll donate a dollar for every pour to Operation Homefront. If possibly beer isn't up your alley, we have other drinks that are inspired uh, by the armed services theme. We have a Bravo Alpha Romeo, which is lemonade, Shandy, a Blue Angel. The list just goes on and on. But Heroes is definitely a goosebumpy feeling when you go in and we're extra special, we're extra specially proud rather, if that makes sense, to have heroes now be a part of the Carnival fleet. But for now, Chris, I think I need some sun. So where are you? Oh, Irene, I love our partnership with Operation Homefront, but I'm out here right now at the Lido pool area and I'm, I'm looking for a deck chair and there's plenty of them. And I'm so excited because, you know, it's all happening at this Lido, Lido pool area. There's games happening, you know, there's the, the entertainment staff comes out. And if not, then we have our DJ going. It's just all about fun. And I love it because I'm definitely all about fun. We've also added another new venue, lots of new venues on board. And this is the Red Frog Tiki Bar. I'm trying to move out of the way so everybody can see. So normally it's the, the Red Frog Rum Bar, which is one story. The Red Frog Tiki Bar is two stories. It's got that French Polynesian flair. It's going to be an absolute blast. So if you want to watch those pool games, we'll have two stories. You can even order any type of drink. Of course, we'll have lots of rum drinks and we'll even have our own Thirsty Frog Red Beer, which is definitely a favorite. So Definitely check out the Red Frog Tiki Bar. I mean, 
it looks like you're someplace really cool. Uh, I for surely am. We have yet another new brand spanking new food outlet on board the Mardi Gras. And this is Big Chicken, who had, um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to put this because it involves our CFO, our chief and officer, Shaquille O'Neal himself. He developed and taste tested all of the recipes for Big Chicken because in the end he has his own franchise in Atlanta. So for all of you Archer Evolution agents that are in Atlanta, I'm sure you're familiar with the Big Chicken restaurants in that area. And we are thrilled to announce that he has brought the Big Chicken on board to Mardi Gras. So it will be open for lunch and dinner and it will be complimentary mouthwatering fried chicken favorites that again have been all developed and taste tested by Shaq based on his own recipes and flavors. Um, we will also be featuring breakfast with choices like chicken and egg biscuits that served uh, with perfect morning accompaniments. And service, since it's complimentary, that's the best part, number one. But service is a breeze. You place your order at the counter, and then once it's ready, you pick up your items right away. And there's no waiting, which is the second best to knowing that it's free. And here is a peek at what his menu will look like. So it's the Shack Daddy, the Big Aristotle, fried chicken basket, the Shack, Shack Attack, try saying that five times fast, and wrapping it up with the MDE, the most dominant ever. I don't even wanna know what's under the shack sauce and pickles, but it's definitely a great way to start out the morning. But I wanna make sure I save space because while I'm on Lido at Summer Landing, I gotta make sure to save room for Guy's Burgers. I know you know, I know all of you know what a Guy's Burger is. And it is another outlet that we have on board with Guy Fieri. And your clients would have a choice of delicious, fresh off the grill burgers designed by Fieri himself, or they can make their own condiment, uh, take their burger over to the condiment bar. They have hot and cold condiments to add to your burger. So it could go from a super thin burger to something that's a mile high, depending on all the toppings that you want. You also get hand cut fries and it's open for lunch, a snack. And I say that lightly because you don't wanna know what the calorie count is or an early dinner. And it's available poolside, uh, modeled after the um, roadside burger joint off the iconic coastal highway. And it's open daily from noon to 6 p.m. And again, it's included in the cost of the cruise vacation. Here is a peek at the menu, the straight up, the chilius maximus, the basic patty, and the ringer, which is my all time favorite. And if you caught about two weeks ago, my virtual cruise party presentation, I showed you where to find some of these recipes that you can incorporate into your virtual cruise party, which also pretty, I'm pretty confident has the, the ringer recipe that you can download and give to your clients. But in the meantime, as I'm getting the, the barbecue sauce off my fingers, Chris, where are you? Irene, I am here at another new venue, but please don't tell me the calories on SMC super melty cheese at guys absolutely not and can i just tell you how excited i am for big chicken to be open for breakfast until 3 p.m that is fantastic i'm so excited but here at street eats you know not all of your favorite flavors come from restaurants a lot of them actually come from food trucks so we brought the food truck concept right here on board carnival and we are at street eats so every day there'll be three different areas that's how street eats is set up and it'll be something fried something steamed something sizzled on the grill you name it there's going to be all kinds of stuff here i heard there's going to be and this sounds so good maybe because it's getting to be dinner time here in pennsylvania but cheese steak fries really and Irene, you want to know what the best part about this is? It's included. There's no additional cost to try Street Eats. So make sure that you check it out. Oh my gosh, those french fries sound 
amazing. And you're right, it is getting close to dinner time for you. So that's why I'm headed back to my stateroom to get ready for dinner, although I've eaten so much today that I don't know how I'll be able to manage uh, dinner in the main restaurant. But I wanted to show off the newly designed uh, interior staterooms that will be on Mardi Gras. And all of our staterooms are enhanced by design touches that we are so happy to talk about. The one I'm uh, excited about is our new sofas that flip into a bed. And they feature footstools that open up for storage, uh, clear glass doors on the in-room mini refrigerator so that way you can see what's inside. These enhanced features will also have more 110 outlets and USB connections and both the vanity and by the bed and with more shelf space because we all know these days we cannot escape from being connected to the world, whether it's a tablet, a laptop, a phone. Sometimes you have all three with you and you don't have enough room to charge everything all at once. But now with the additional outlets and USB connections, it shouldn't be an issue. And we all, the staterooms will also feature flexible bedside reading lamps to allow guests to read without disturbing others and a larger customizable wardrobe with pull out bins and sliding shoe racks and folding shelves and storage under the bed for luggage. Man, when Enrique and I would get on board on embarkation day after the ship left the port, I used to dread unpacking after safety briefing. Now, with all of these enhancements, I don't think I'll mind it so much. But one thing that definitely has me smile is this last edition. And we all can relate to the battle that we have with the stateroom bathroom shower curtain. We have to admit, whether we like it or not, most of us lose it. And there's a flood on the floor by the time we're done showering. Now, Mardi Gras staterooms will feature glass shower doors. Hallelujah, which is a first for us. And by the way, ladies, the shower will also feature an in-shower shaving bar. So no more tumbling over doing yoga positions while you're trying to get ready for your shore excursion or beach day. And finally, staterooms with balconies <clears throat> will feature floor to ceiling glass doors and nearly all verandas for easier balcony access. So the, the days of the manual push and pull uh, door that we used to have or the majority of our fleet has are gone. And starting from the Mardi Gras, our balconies will have floor to ceiling gla glass doors, which we're all excited to have a part of these design touches in addition to everything else. But in the meantime, I got a call that my reservation was pushed back for dinner. So Chris, you're at the ultimate playground, it looks like. I sure am. And that is music to my ears. No more battling that shower curtain. That is awesome news. But here I'm at the ultimate playground. But everybody, don't let the name fool you. It's for all ages because you will find me here most of the cruise. So between having a basketball court and the first ever roller coaster at sea, yes, I said roller coaster at sea, which I will tell you all about. There's the waterworks, so our water slides. We have the big dump bucket. There is so much to do. There's foosball out there at the Ultimate Playground. There's a pool table. There's a jogging course. There is anything you can imagine, it's going to be there. And again, it's for all ages because I'm definitely going to be there. But the highlight of this is going to be the first ever roller coaster at sea. And as you can see, this is a two-person roller coaster cart. It goes on over 800 feet of track, up to 40 miles per hour, and literally the person in the front gets to decide how fast it goes. So Irene, you and me, and I'm definitely going to drive it for sure. <laughs> so the other thing that I think is really cool is when you're on the roller coaster, there's going to be all kinds of fun um, musical enhancements so that it, you're hearing all kinds of noises that sound like you're you're you know, having the best time ever because you're going to be. So that is Bolt Roller Coaster. You definitely don't want to miss this zone, which is the ultimate playground. It is for kids of all ages, including me. 
Irene, where are you at? Oh, I think you're at one of my favorite spots. I think I am too. But that bolt definitely sounds fun. Um, I believe there's even a camera on board to help take pictures of capturing the fun along the ride, right? And I would imagine that due to excitement that there might be a small fee that's yet to be determined. Right. I mean, you are correct. There will be a fee and we will announce that as soon as we find out. But I'm going to tell you something. I just learned something new about the camera. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah, no problem. It's always good to I'd rather have uh, everybody be prepared for a possible fee than have it be a negative surprise. But in the meantime, we'll we'll take fees out the window. And I'm over in the Cloud Nine Spa over at our Thalassal Therapy Pools. That is a part of the relaxation experience when you are in the Mardi Gras Spa. And travel advisors, make sure that you take advantage of the upsell. Oops, I'm on the wrong slide. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Okay, sorry. My slides got out of order. Don't you love it when Zoom does that to you? They shuffle them without you knowing. Anyways, getting back on track from the Cloud9 Spa, we have a special stateroom category for the spa itself. And this, Travel Advisors, is an upsell for you to get those extra commission dollars. And when the guest selects them, they get extra amenities for booking into a spa stateroom. The Cloud9 Spa does have special offerings. It includes exclusive entry access as a private entrance to Cloud9 Spa. And we'll see a wide array of special perks some of these perks include priority, priority spa appointments for reservations made prior to 6 p.m. on embarkation day, cruise long complimentary access to our thermal suites. Normally, if you're a guest book out, booked outside of the spa staterooms, you do not you have to pay for this access. Uh, the thermal suites include dry heat chambers, steam chambers, oriental and aroma steam, and an aromatic grotto and our Thalassal Therapy Pools. You'll also receive a complimentary scrub kit to use in our uh, suites. A body combination, composition analysis is also complimentary. You'll have spa branded bathrobes and slippers in your stateroom for use during the cruise. And then you'll also have Elemis shampoo and gel soaps in your stateroom to use when you're uh, getting ready for the day or getting ready for the nighttime. Now, these all sound amazing, but as I am quickly on um, the next few weeks turning into a family of four, we also have a category of staterooms that are geared towards families. <clears throat> and these are also an upsell for you to take advantage of those extra commission dollars and guests that are booked into the Family Harbor get to take advantage of extra special amenities. So these are our staterooms dedicated towards families and they are located within the family friendly zone of deck four midship. And the Family Harbor accommodations offer an array of staterooms and a nautical flag motif to accommodate up to five guests. And some of these staterooms even have two bathrooms. The first one would be a full bathroom configuration, a shower tub, toilet and sink configuration. And then the second bathroom would be the sink and the shower, I'm sorry, the sink and the toilet for those of you who have already showered, but you still need the mirror to get dressed and teeth brushed, etc. So it's great for families. Guests who are booked into the Family Harbor staterooms definitely get amenities. They have access to the exclusive Family Harbor Lounge, which is where I am now. And it's open between the hours of 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. And guests are able to get entry into the Family Harbor Lounge by using your sale and sign card. Another amenity is kids 11 and under dine free in our specialty restaurants off the kids menu and our Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, Cucina del Capitano, 
Gigi's Aging Kitchen, and Banzai Sushi, as long as an adult is with them that's within the same stateroom. And finally, one third benefit of booking a Family Harbor stateroom is parents can take advantage of one night complimentary of our night owls evening activities that our Camp Ocean staff puts on for children ages 11 and under. Normally our Camp, uh, Camp Ocean program for the night owls, there is a fee per child that they do special activities for night owls and they get takeaways and uh, they get to do different crafts. But as long as your clients or yourselves are booked into a Family Harbor stateroom, parents can take advantage of one night complimentary of night owls, which is a great value. But in addition, with the Family Harbor Lounge, it's a secluded space designed for the ultimate family hangout. It'll have board games, family movies, video game consoles within the space. It will serve breakfast and snacks a continental breakfast buffet on port days from 6.30 to 9.30 a.m. and then sea days from 7.30 to 10.30 and then afternoon snacks daily from three to five and evening cookies and milk to wind down the day from seven to 9 p.m. Just knowing that the Family Harbor Lounge has these additional food outlets is priceless in itself because honestly I would not want to take Artel and Ella up to Lido to battle the Lido lines on breakfast time or go to the dining room knowing what potential mood they are in. Artel is entering her terrible twos and I can barely get her to sit at our kitchen table for breakfast. So knowing that I can just walk across the hall and the Family Harbor Lounge will be open for breakfast and snacks is a relief in itself. But knowing that not everybody is uh, traveling with kiddos. Chris, I believe you're in the, um, the relaxed extrovert category of our guest staterooms on board. I sure am. And you know that I'm not traveling with any children. So Irene, make sure you book that night owl cabin because we're going dancing at Havana later. So I am here at in my Havana cabin, and this is a tropical inspired cabin. And as you can see, you get your own little patio in some of the accommodations, and some even have a hammock chair, you name it. But you can feel that like old Key West style. It's just absolutely great. Now in this area, keep in mind, if you're going to take kids, they have to be 12 years and older. But because I'm in that relaxed extrovert category right now, no kids for me. And what I love about this area too, is it gives you exclusive access to the Havana Lanai area, which is a little bit different on Vista and Mardi Gras. A little bit different from Vista, Mardi Gras is a little different. Um, it's going to have an amazing area for our guests. But also, don't forget then, we could go over to the Havana Bar. And here's where I'm going to meet Irene when the kids are in the Night Owl program, because we're going to dance the night away. Not really that I can dance that good, but we're going to try. And here is just so much fun. This is open to all guests, you know, throughout the day. Lots of dancing. Um, I love to watch people, you know, the Latin dances and stuff. Uh, the mojitos are flowing. Just the music is amazing. And I've actually seen Adolfo here in this area. And Irene, he can definitely dance. Now, Irene, don't be mad, but I did try to get my friend Calvin to join me here again in the, the Havana area, but he was already booked, so I couldn't get him. And for everybody who wants to know who Calvin is, make sure you check out mine and Irene's battle. <laughs> oh my gosh. I still think you cheated with him, but again, for more details, you have to watch the battle against Chris and I once it's posted. But for now, before I meet you at Havana Bar, I am wanting to show off my Excel Aft Interior Suite that is the newest category of staterooms debuting on the Carnival Mardi Gras. It's our Excel, uh, our Excel Suite category, and this is what the inside interior stateroom uh, will look like. It does feature a separate living area and a bedroom area. 
as well as an outside wraparound balcony with plenty of lounges and chases and interior space. And even in the corner, you can see my very own whirlpool. These are definitely geared towards a luxury client. Um, Excel suite amenities include complimentary access to loft 19 that I believe Chris will talk about in a little bit, a dedicated concierge phone line, guaranteed main restaurant, time assignments, uh, sparkling wine and fruit bowl upon arrival, the bottomless bubbles soft drink package is included. You would receive also complimentary room service, uh, complimentary on-demand movies, priority debarkation at all ports, and tons of other amenities that you can check out in GoCCL when you're talking about the Excel suite category with a potential client. And while we have Excel aft suites, we have another category, which is our Excel presidential suite, which we have here showing the Excel presidential suite uh, bathroom uh, bedroom rather, so it's about 1,500 square feet of living space and it features its own pool. So it's even bigger than the, the pool you saw for the Excel F suites, larger dining uh, and outdoor spaces. You can view the full deck plan and room layout of these categories on Mardi Gras and Go CCL to start talking about with your clients. These, the presidential suite would include all of the Excel suite amenities, and they would also get complimentary access to our thermal suites and our Havana pool area if they are booked into the presidential suite on board. There are only two of these on the ship, so if your clients are interested in it and it's available, you want to make sure that you take advantage of grabbing it by putting down their deposit. But Chris, I believe you're going to go into more details about Loft 19. I sure am. I'm here on the highest deck. And Loft 19 is modeled after the world's finest resorts. So there's full bar service. There's 108 sun loungers. And there's 12 cabanas. So the Excel suites get first access to the cabanas. They can rent them. And if there's any opened, then it will go out to the rest of the ship. They can be rented prior to getting on board. And those cabanas include robes. It includes chilled towels. I'm already ready to, to book my, my cabana here on Loft 19. It will include fresh fruit in the afternoon, full bar service, um, lunch if you'd like it. There's so much. And they could be rented for a full day or a half day and we'll make sure that everybody has that pricing. So really great opportunity for another amazing spot right here on Mardi Gras. I'm ready to go Irene, but it looks like you're in an amazing spot too. Oh my gosh, it's the final sea day. We've made it through the cruise. All I wanna do is relax. I was lucky enough to find a chair at Serenity, which is our adult only retreat that provides guests with the tranquil space uh, to escape from all the stress going on on the Esplanade. I participated in Family Feud. I am just ready to sit in a chair and fall asleep. And luckily, Serenity is open to guests 21 years of age and older. So it's strictly for adults. And while the area can be accessed at any time, the hot tubs, spa, pools, and bar wait service are available during the day until 10 p.m. And the best part is knowing that this area, while it's only for adults, is included in the cost of the cruise vacation. And on Mardi Gras, it's now two deck levels. So there's even more space to find a lounge chair or a clamshell or jump into the whirlpool or hot tub and just sit and enjoy enjoy the rest of the day before the evening time happens. And I am so glad that that's the best way to wrap up or the way I like to wrap up my carnival cruise vacation is in serenity. Just knowing that I have time for myself and to, to commiserate on all the great memories that I had on board during the cruise. But for now, that wraps up our Carnival Mardi Gras virtual ship tour for the Archer and Evolution family. Thank you, Chris. 
for helping me out covering all of the magnificent spaces on board uh, the ship. We cannot wait to have her come to Port Canaveral in the coming weeks to start her uh, voyages and be a part of the Carnival family. So Amanda, I'm going to kick it back to you and see if there are any questions from your team. Perfect. Yeah, we have some questions. So first question is, are there any restaurants shown today included in the cruise, uh, today included in the cruise price? If not, where can we find the pricing for specific restaurants, bars not included in the cruise price? There are plenty of restaurants that we covered uh, that are included in the cost of the cruise vacation. We talked about Shaquille O'Neal's restaurant, Big Chicken, as well as our Street Eats, which is our uh, inspired by street trucks and stalls, and it'll have a different rotating menu each each day that's included. We have Guy's Burgers that's also included in the cost of the cruise vacation. And during the day on sea days from 12 to 2.30, Guy's Smokehouse and Brew House also features a complimentary lunch. For our specialty restaurants that are a la carte within GoCCL or on carnival.com, when you go through the dining options, by selecting each dining option, it will list the price of each restaurant. The majority of our restaurants do have a flat fee, such as Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. That fee for a multi-course steak and lobster dinner, if you chose it, is $35 per person for adults. Cucina, our Italian style restaurant, is $15 for adults, and that's multi-courses. Our Bonsai Sushi, um, is a la carte. A sushi roll ranges from three to four dollars, but it also has Wagyu beef and miso soups and lots of other things. We definitely understand the value of what a cruise vacation involves. So while we have a la carte restaurants, the culinary team is at the forefront of really keeping those costs minimal to you as the guest. So I think when you go online and look at the different prices, for our specialty restaurants, you'd be pleasantly surprised at the value of them and how low the cost actually is. Perfect, thanks. Okay, next question is, can you leave the ship if you haven't booked an excursion? Right now, we are still, if you're talking about our new what our new normal will be, those guidelines will be coming out hopefully sooner than later. So as soon as we know those, we will definitely be, or I will definitely be working with Rhonda to get that training scheduled so that way you guys can be familiarized with what the new guidelines are going to be. But we are definitely anticipating those in the coming days or weeks. Perfect, thanks. Um, next question, um, do you have a new marketing video we can use for the Mardi Gras 2021? All of our marketing videos are in GoCCL in the Brand Center, or you can find other videos by going to YouTube and searching Carnival Trade or our Carnival Independent Agent Team. And once you get to those pages, you would select videos and we have a whole library of options for you to look at. But I mean, you guys also have your own video creation team that would be able to help Archer advisors, correct? Am I, am I assuming that that should be the correct avenue for them to reach out to you guys? That's correct. Um, I, I did direct them to your YouTube page as well in the chat, but I didn't know if you had anything else to add to that. So I wanted to leave it open to you. Those are the, those are the two perfect places to go to if you're looking for uh, educational videos or just a quick snapshot. But I know that Amanda and Jose and Rhonda and the Archer team do a great job customizing videos as needed for you for your marketing efforts as well. So I would be sure to reach out to whatever avenue is the best way, Amanda, right? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, they can uh, they can reach out to me and then I can direct them in the right direction or let them know if we have a marketing video that we have made for them too. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. Uh, next question is, uh, uh, is there still going to be unlimited 24-7 ice cream? As of right now, we haven't heard a no, 
but there may be a couple of twists and turns to those details once we know more of what our new normal is going to be. So I would hang tight on that question for hopefully a better, a more solid answer in the coming weeks. Perfect. Okay, we have a couple questions on itineraries. Uh, I'll, I'll ask both and uh, they sort of go together, so I'll let you answer however you want. Uh, do you, what are the itineraries you have for 2021 through 2023? And do you have any itineraries for Australia and New Zealand? Yes, we have tons of itineraries available through almost 2020, the end of 2023. You can check those itineraries out on GoCCL. There you can search by cruise date, home port, ship, everything. Everything is available in GoCCL for itineraries. Depending on where you want to go, you can narrow it down to the Caribbean, Bahamas, um, Australia, Alaska, Mexico, everything. Over the and within the last year, actually, we actually integrated the ability to book Australia through our US GoCCL platform. So within GoCCL, you have a ton of options to take a peek at and check out if you have a client's desired bucket list uh, destination. But Australia and New Zealand are definitely a part of that uh itinerary option if you wanted to have them check out all the available options within go ccl perfect and then sort of going off of piggybacking off of a question earlier this one's similar um just to reiterate they could go to your brand page if they wanted to find more info on all the different types of rooms on the mardi gras um and they could probably go to the youtube as well right um, for this, we didn't, well, we covered the Family Harbor, the Excel Suites, and the Havana staterooms, as well as a peek at what the interior staterooms will look like. We didn't touch on all of them, but we covered the basics of what they will all feature. But definitely go to goccl.com, select Mardi Gras under the ships drop down, and then you can review all of the different stateroom choices from the spa staterooms to the Havana suites, to the family harbor, to the Excel suites. Keep in mind that all of those come with extra amenities for your client. So they're priced a little bit higher, which allows you as a travel advisor to earn those extra commission dollars. So the upsell opportunity is definitely there for you when you are talking to a client about the Mardi Gras or really any of our ships on board our fleet. And remember, especially if you have clients that have future cruise credits to use, you want to make sure you keep in touch with them and talk about their desired stateroom category so that way they grab it and book it before it goes to some before that stateroom would be booked by somebody else. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. It seems like we have, uh, I think I might have missed a couple questions. If we missed your question, um, just go ahead and reach out to us and we'll get those to Irene to get those answered or whoever we need to. Um, and then the last question is, is the family lounge area include complimentary, uh, complimentary meals? The family harbor lounge does include continental breakfast and snacks. So it's not going to include a full hot uh, meal every meal time while you're on board, but it does cover the basics, the breakfast and the snacks once you come back uh, to the cabin area from being up on Lido deck all day or wherever you may be on board. Just so that when you know it's close, you can take it back to the cabin to possibly get the kiddos down for a nap or early bedtime. But for main uh, for main hot meals, I would definitely keep in mind that you may have to order uh, room service at a la carte pricing if you wanted something hot or go to your main restaurant dinner seating time or to the restaurant for breakfast or brunch and then up to Lido for lunch if you wanted to depending on where the ship is each day. Okay, perfect. Actually, let, oh, there's one more question. Um, and it is, will you be having any Mardi Gras ship inspections in New Zealand or Australia? What do you think about that? Unfortunately, since the Mardi Gras is based out of Port Canaveral, we will only be featuring ship inspections for ships that are based out of that home port. 
So for Australia, we have the Splendor and the Spirit, and I believe the Carnival Legend that is there seasonally. So our Australia business development team, as they become available when we're ready, because again, we don't know what the new normal for ship tours are going to be, well, they'll be offered. And then ships out of Long Beach, We'll have their own ship tours when the when we're ready to have them again. And since Mardi Gras is based out of Port Canaveral, the ship tours for Mardi Gras will be out of the Port Canaveral area. We don't, unfortunately, we don't have the ability to move a ship to a different home port uh, for a ship tour. So you would keep an eye out on the Carnival Go CCL uh, website for ship tours. Once they become available again to us, I know myself and Chris and the other BDMs across the country cannot wait to have you guys back on board for the ship tours. Uh, we know how valuable it is to, for you as the travel advisor to see the ship and the stateroom so that way you're able to sell it to your clients. But in the meantime, we have a whole library of virtual ship tours in Go CCL under the onboard with you. So while we did one for you guys, especially for Mardi Gras today, we have about 19 other tours available for you to take a peek at the inside of the majority of the rest of our carnival fleet. While we wait for what the new guidance will be to get back to in-person ship tours. But for now, we'll just have to hang tight and continue to be creative with our virtual tours. Perfect. Great. Thanks. Okay. Well, I just want to say thank you so much, Irene and Chris. That was an amazing and super fun and different presentation. I've never seen a virtual uh, ship tour done like that. So that was really cool. And I just want to thank you for that. And I know in chat today, we had a lot of people saying, thank you, ladies. This was great. I can't wait to meet and greet the new Mardi Gras. And we had someone else also state um thank you so much ladies this was a great presentation and i can't wait to go so we have a lot of people who are excited to go and i just want to say thanks again irene i will let you close out and i'll let you i just want to say thanks to chris as well again so i'll let you close out and you guys can can finish up for us Okay. Well, thanks, Amanda. And you said it perfectly. I was very happy that Chris joined me to help with the virtual ship tour for the Mardi Gras. I know, as you mentioned, this is the first time that uh, we have done something like this for you guys. So I'll be sure to work with Rhonda and Amanda on how to get them done for other ships in the future. But for now, I can't wait to see you guys sooner than later once we get back into uh, everything. And for now, keep me posted. If you have questions, uh, feel free to send me an email. Amanda has my email address. And if you wanted to start following me on social media, you can search CCL BDM Irene on Facebook and join my Facebook page. But for now, have a fantastic St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Be sure to wear your green to avoid any pinching and enjoy the rest of your carnival week with Reggie and Jose and uh, Susie and Peggy. I know they have a lot in store for you. And for then, thank you again, and we'll see you next time.